Hi, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, welcome back. If you've been here before, whoa, woohoo! Oh, yeah! I'm out here giving the dog his early morning run. It's pretty cool, this thing. It does a top speed of 28 miles an hour, which is amazing. But in all honesty, it does make collecting the dog poo a little bit difficult. I've been trying to incorporate what's known in the industry as a low level jousting manoeuvre using a carrier bag and a pair of barbecue tongs. Now I'm not going to lie, trying to pick up the dog poo with a pair of barbecue tongs isn't great and bits have been flicking around everywhere. Oh mama! Oh! I missed it! I'm not going to lie, after multiple attempts my tactics have been failing miserably, so I've come up with a bit of a cunning plan. I've essentially tied a carrier bag to the dog's arse. It doesn't seem too impressed, but it hasn't slowed him down at all. In all serious nurse, I've been out on this bike every day around these fields, running the dog and just testing it out. It's got a 60 mile range on it, and I just wanted to see how far I can push it. And the thing with it is, the company Hemiway that sent it to me said like, can you show it on some muddy patches and through some trees and such? And I thought, yeah, no worries. I said to him, like, I'll ride it round the park a few times and make it look cool. Yeah, that's probably not going to cut it, they said. So then my mind started ticking, didn't it? And I've come up with a fiendishly cunning plan. Bear with. This is the entrance to Braggart Park. A country park that sits about seven miles outside the city of Leicester in the middle of England in the UK. And this is my start destination for today's misadventure. I'm planning, and I'm gonna dub it, an e-bike winter wild camp, woodland camp, wild camp thing. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be, oh my days, a bushcraft special. I've got a hammock, I've got an open fire, I've got a tarp and I've got a number of other things that's going to create an absolute freaking disaster. There's a number of issues wrong with this plan, namely starting it, but apart from that, the location for tonight's digs is about 20 miles away, and because of this bike, I'm going to have to ride off-road. I've planned a route along little tracks and lanes and such and so forth, but I don't know if there's any styles or hedges that I've got to hop over and with a 30 kilo bike, yeah, that could be a bit of an issue. It does have a 40 mile range with a throttle and a 60 mile range if I keep pedaling, so I should be okay on the distance, but then there's the bushcraft element, isn't there? Well, if you're a regular to the series, you'll know. I haven't got a scooby do about bushcraft, have I? So hanging a hammock, starting a fire, and not burning a woodland down, not burning me cooking, and etc, etc. Yeah, could be a bit of a mission. With all that being said though, it's all about have a go in life, innit? So, yeah, we're about to have a go. And with that being said, I think we should get on the trail and start heading over there. Oh, and one last thing before we go, just to sort of clarify this. Check that out. So I'm on 16.9 miles, man. If we had the one missing, we'd be on the perfect number. 69, dude. Let's see how many more miles we can clock by the time we get back to here. Let's do it. the countryside lanes and onto the uh, bike trails pretty cool i'm doing i've done about four miles five miles already i gotta be honest mate i've never rode an e-bike before and i gotta tell you this thing is immense it's got like it comes default set with five electric gears but i've changed it up so you can have like nine so it gives like a little bit less power on each gear and you can set it a bit better but i gotta tell you it's like I've got it on gear three, and as soon as I get to about gear four or five, it's just balls to the walls like 25 mile an hour. It's pretty sick, and it's totally effortless. I have to like turn the pedals slowly just to sort of have some sort of kinetic energy going on, and then it just goes full power at like five, six gears. It's wicked, man. Like you can reset it, but it's just so cool to be riding it like this. It's just immense. It's wicked. Totally effortless. It should. 
Only take me about an hour and a half at this pace, I hope. I'm running a little bit late. It's one o'clock now already, so I hope we get there with some decent light. At least a few hours. Oh mate, final section. I've got to tell you, I'm not I'm not exhausted, but I'm freezing cold. The wind's just been blowing at me and oh, I'm a little bit worried about the battery. I can't show you, but it's got five bars. I'm halfway on the journey and I'm down to two bars, so I don't know if it's gonna make it back or not. But like I say, we're nearly here. The only thing is, I really, really hope everything's as I left it. I came down yesterday to sort of prep the area and leave a bag of gear, so check this out, I'll show you what I did. The area itself was a really nice area, open sort of woodland with a view in the distance and the sun setting at the backdrop. So all I needed to do was clear the area and find a little spot for hanging the hammock. At first, I tried to acquaint myself with a position near the embankment, but the width of the trees were having none of it. Secondly, I attempted a position with a better view lower down, shook the tree, checked its strength and was happy that I wouldn't fall from it. I'd brought 6mm polypropylene rope with me. I'd wanted cotton but couldn't find it with limited time. I took my trusty knife and tried to shear through the rope whilst attempting not to cut off fingers or hands and then realised I hadn't measured it. Bollocks. I began tying the rope to the tree and suddenly realised that I had no experience in tying a single knot. So after all attempts, I adopted for what can only be described in the industry as a shoelace knot. I had a sneaky little pull and tug on it and then check the rope again and it looked alright. I had a quick attempt at sitting in the hammock which went quite successfully to my surprise but then could only imagine how difficult it was going to be at 3 o'clock in the morning in the pitch dark half shiznick faced but for now I felt safe. The next task entailed me digging a fire pit. I decided of a position not too far away from the hammock but also not so close that I'd end up in a ball of flames in the middle of the night. I thought it'd be an easy task but then realised there were more stones in the ground than there was soil. After an arduous five minutes of absolutely sweating my chunger off, the hole was dug and I set about collecting stones to lay around the fire pit. Using my years of experience in feng shui design, I laid them out in what can be described as a yin yang paradoxal atrium type fashion. After which, I checked the hole and the structure and was happy as both. Thought it was going to be chilling to the max all night long, baby. The final task entailed me wandering aimlessly around the forestry area collecting pieces of dead wood, of which I've quite a lot of experience on a personal level. After at least three minutes of rummaging around, I couldn't be asked anymore, so I just left it and moved on. Tell you what though, this bike's done me proud, man. Look at this terrain and it's just chugging along. It's wicked, mate. Oh, 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 oh. bit off Odin, you know, you know. Wicked. Oh, I just thought as well, one thing about this area, it's full of pine needles or something. Not pine needles, but yeah, wicked. The frickin' wood's still there, mate. Check it out, look. Someone lent me some Hessian bags, man. They're totally full of wood. <laughs> wicked. <sighs> and the area looks good. Right, I've just got to find my sack. I hope that's still stashed here. Not gonna lie, always a good day when you find the sack that you've stashed with all your gear in, man. I was a little bit worried about that. I don't think anyone's even knowing about this area. There's no footpath through or anything. It's just a bit of barren land, but someone's gonna know about it, isn't there? So, oh, bloody hell. And then he fell backwards with it on. It's a bit of a big bag. And I've got to be honest, it's a bit of a legendary bag. Check it out. It's an old army bag of some sorts. I'm thinking from the Second World War, and that bag I've had for about 30 years. That's traveled all over Southeast Asia with me on every single trip, except for the first. Right, I'm gonna get set up a little bit and I'll catch you in a bit. Well, I'm not gonna lie, it's taken me an hour of faffing about, but finally, I've got the basher up. I'm pretty stoked about it, mate. It looks pretty good. Obviously, I've got the hammock going on underneath. Ah. Uh, and then the basher on top. I think I've got enough space. I mean, I can sort of fiddle with it a little bit later, but yeah, it's pretty basic. I've got a bit of Bushcraft special <laughs> steak going on at the back. Tied it off to a tree. We're up on the trees here. 
and then yeah i've just got some pegs i've pegged it down at the front and i think what i'll do i'll just lift it up and over now for while i'm chilling and then later on i can pin it down that's far enough away from the fire as well talking of which let's get that lit all right i'm gonna hold my hands up this could be a bit of a nightmare i wanted to get a flint and tinder um but instead the shop sold me this thing i'm not too sure what it is yeah i'm, I'm not gonna lie i don't really get what i'm doing with this that is mental uh what what am i supposed to do with that it's not doing nothing there's no spark coming off that is there great there's no bloody phone signal is there so i can't even check youtube man to see how to use these damn things i don't know i keep like flicking it and every now and again i get a spark i guess that's oh, like literally every now and again you know what i mean once in a blue moon. I don't know. Hey. Don't get it, mate. Trouble is, I should be doing this while it's in there. Thing is, oh, I've got this. I'm not entirely sure it's going to actually burn. Oh, let's see. This is a ruddy nightmare. How did people create fire with these damn things, man? It's just bullshit. I don't know. This is never going to happen, dude. Oh, you, you, I mean, what? How, dude? I'm really not sure I'm doing it right. I'm just saying. Life shouldn't be this difficult. And you know what? Ah, that's why they invented a lighter, mate. I'm just saying. Oh, crap. Oh, no, I've lost my lighter. Fear not. Oh, I've just found it. Right, let's get this freaking fire lit, mate. <sighs> caveman style ain't happening you know i'm not gonna lie sometimes life can be a struggle and sometimes in life you get the option to take the easy route and some people down you for taking the easy route but you know what i mean if you get to the same end result and you get there in half the time was it really a bad thing to take the easy route Let's go, <laughs> mate. We got fire. Oh, look at that. Caveman would have been proud, mate. These are legends. Don't know what they are. Twizzlers from the Pohok. Legend. They were rather cheap. And oh, wood wall, man. Fire lighters. In there, that swim there straight away, mate. All right, let's get some gubbins on it. Let's do it. This is legend, mate. An open fire in a woodland. I mean, with me tarp and me American. This is what wild camping's all about, isn't it? I'm so stoked, man. It's a different kettle of fish for me in a wood like this. I'm psyched. Oh, the hammock as well. Yeah, somebody get me that, man. And I've had it for about three, four months, and I've just not had the opportunity to use it. So it's pretty cool to get it out. I need to get more wood on this fire before I use all these fire lighters. Corbins, let's go. Mate, there's so much wood in this wood. It's freaking awesome. Yeah, man, straight in, bro. Loving it. That's wicked, mate. We got fire. <laughs> mate, oh, freaking loving this. Open fire, amical, top thingy. Oh, oh, the bike bringing me. This is wicked, mate. This is a tester. I'm thinking of getting a bike rack and like honestly like I was going to do this camp over at Allport Castles in the in the Peak District which is about a 10 mile bike into it and a 10 mile bike back but I just wanted to test it out on this one but check it out man I'm one step closer to being Foresty Forest because <laughs> he's got one of these. We should be able to have some proper misadventures with this thing in the summer. So you want to see if I can get a tent to like actually like camp it out in overnight because you don't want it showing, do you? If you're on the mountain or something, just put that in a tent and no one knows. But uh, yeah, everything's set up. It's time for a little bit of bling. Check this bad boy out. I've got a few bits that I've been wanting to use for ages on camp. So I brought everything with me today. Let's get some of it set up. Boom time. Oh, check it out, man. I'm honestly living the dream here. That fire, mate going to take loads of fuel to keep that going overnight and I might want to move the bike but in with the bling don't you know check it out I've got everything I need I've got ribs and whatnot for cooking pop and water for putting out the fire if it gets out of hand 
Ah, oh, sweet potato and such and jacket potato foil for wrapping and then uh, I bought the jet boil because I just can't be bothered with like waiting for that to go down so I can boil some water up I'm gonna have a coffee in a minute but check this bad boy out I finally brought it with me on a camp the Miffa wild camping speaker boom and we got cheese baby all right let's do this look at it what a sell, man. I'm stoked. <laughs> Loving it, man. And that's got a light as well. So in the evening, I've not got to mess about with an eco candle. I've got me light as well. <sighs> right. I'm gonna chill out for an hour and get some bits together and get ready for cooking this evening's meal and just enjoy this area, man. Wicked, a little river thing going on down the way. I've got a canal up the distance and nobody else around, man. Living the dream. Wild in the woods with multiple cameras. Massive amount of gobbins, like bags of like hessian sack full of wood and yeah, 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 we, we going wild. We'll catch you in a bit. Cheers. Wicked, mate. Best of everything. Best of both worlds. And oh, wow. It looks like we're getting a little bit of sunset going on as well. Look at this bad boy here. Getting a little bit of a hue over the field of something. Maybe it's the sun. It's a nice evening. It's not too cold. I think it's about five or six degrees. And it's predicted to stay above freezing tonight, hopefully. So I've got my fingers crossed on that one. It could be a bit of a fresh night. I've brought the old school minus 25 bag with me so and i was trying to find a sleeping bag liner somebody gave me one and i don't seem to be able to find it bit gutted really it's nice isn't it you can get in there and not mucky up your sleeping bag and you know but yeah minus 25 should be good to about minus 10 15. i think we'll be all right should say that this is awesome i've wanted to have an open fire on a camp for an absolute age i've not done this since i was a kid you know and to have it now it's like pretty special the wood's a little bit wet it seems to be it's burning but it's sort of sizzling a little bit but yeah it's giving off some nice heat it really is right i'm gonna try and get it to die down a little bit think about getting tonight's meal on i'm hot mate i'm stoked it's a special one doing a proper grill tonight you do you do boom time game on with the munchies then i've got to say as well you know like this is wicked mate I'm absolutely psyched. Not only am I out here wild camping in the woods, doing my thing and all that, but it's all been made possible by you guys. All this equipment here that I've got, every last thing pretty much, down to the table, the sport, the whole things I've been donated by you guys or given to me by companies and such. And I was just thinking, you know, it's like, I feel blessed because of it all. But then I was thinking like, I read the comments in the Facebook, I'll inspire people to get out and do stuff like this themselves and it's bettered your lives and stuff and it's just the whole thing comes full circle from you to me from me to you and it's just what a great world what a great thing that's going on on YouTube and a positive bubble that we've got it's so cool look if you're not part of the Facebook group come and join it it's called wondering where to get outdoors i'll leave a link in the description or something and come and join the community because yeah 1500 people already with the same sort of mindset and ilk so yeah more importantly food time right timing 
you can forget it, all right? Because it ain't happening. Oh, I wanted to do it all at about the same time, but yeah, it's just, it's a, it's a mind frag. I've got a sweet potato the size of my bloody head. I couldn't get a small one, I don't know. That was the smallest one. And that one's got roots growing out of it, so that's gonna take about three days, might be cut for morning. Yo, potato, normal, uh, jacket, you know. Um, Sweet corn, da da da, mate, that was two pounds nearly for two rolls of sweet corn. What's going on with the freaking world, man? There's a lot of shortage on sweet corn or something. It's like some mafia scene going on for the freaking sweet corn. Are you buying this from like Alibaba or something these days? Oh, dude, it's open already. Oh, mate, that looks mank. Oh, I didn't even pick that one up, man. Old man Grumpster picked it up. What a muppet. Oh, mate. Screw it. We'll cut the death out of it. I mean, it's dead already, but you know what I mean. And, da 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 da, piece de resistance. Ribs, baby. I was going to do steak, but then I thought, you know what? Why not have a little bit of, like, Asian meat on an open fire? Because we all love a bit of Asian meat. You know what I mean? It's got Asian sauce on it, so it's Asian ribs. I don't know, but it looks good. And I'm freaking starving, mate. Oh, enough talk, let's get it on. Oh, wait, because there is one secret ingredient. Yeah, yeah, I'm not an idiot. I brought foil. I don't think it's very good foil, though. It seems quite thin. I wanted that thicker stuff. <laughs> I don't know, it's just, it's probably not gonna be enough of it. Anyway, ah, uh, yeah. Oh my days, are you kidding me? Oh mate, that's not happening. <laughs> I was gonna do it with a sport. There's not a chance in hell. I'm bringing out the big guns. Look at this bad boy. Again, somebody gave it me, and hold my hands up, can't remember now, but bless you. This has been all around the world. This is one of those items that has got resonance, memories, and all the rest of it, do you know what I mean? It's beautiful, man. Like I said earlier with that bag, you know, um, it's been all around the world, man. Well, not all around the world, but it's been all around Southeast Asia and such. I've done tens of thousands of miles traveling. This is not what I should be doing. I know, this is not looking good. I may have stabbed it a little bit too much. It's not even pokey and in the middle, though, is it? That's the problem, because this potato's so big, I'm just poking the outsidey bit. Ugh, squared me in the eye. The outsidey bits. And I'm not even poking them, I'm slashing and slicing it. It's just gonna fall apart. I have to wrap the shiznik out of it. Da 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 da. Oh my days. Good luck. You ain't eating the skin, that's for shiz. That's gonna be burnt to a smither. You knew, you knew. Mate, oh, go, go easy on the foil, man. I could get to the point where we're on a bold roll. And I've not even wrapped my ribs yet. Nobody likes a bold roll. Although they do these days, don't they? People like bold rolls. It's the fashion, isn't it? You know what I mean? Trim it up. Nobody nobody wants to munch on one of them beshaggled rolls anymore, do they? It's the 2020s, man. It ain't the 70s, is it? You know what I mean? You know what I mean. <laughs> uh, uh, let's just get these on. Right, fire's looking good. The only problem I've got at the minute... Da -da -da -da, check out what I brought. I brought this from the... Uh, remember that old fire pit thing I had in the summer? It's the grill from that. Wicked, man. It's a little bit too big, though. Um, I need a couple of extra stones. Bear with. Oh, that's not a stone. That's a log covered in moss. Ugh. There's one round here somewhere. I don't know, man. I don't see much in the dark. Ah. Oh, wait. They're all buried. It's not happening. Oh, wait. I might have found one. Oh, my days. Ugh. You look a bit smoked out. How are you going on? I got one. I don't know. It looks a bit mossy. That'll burn off, won't it? Moss is not poisonous, is it? It's not like asbestos, is it? Maybe I'll give it a minute, just to be sure. Oh, this is not going to go well, is it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, mama. Yeah. Where's my tongs? Oh, smoke. Right. Ugh. That should do it. Let's have a butchers. Yeah, bugger. Not really. Um. Right, a little bit of jiggery poker, eh? and we're in the game. Just put this one. Ah, oh, fucking hell, dude, that's well up. Hey, I smoking. 
Yowza, them, uh, them snows get hot, eh? Whoa, I should have thought about that. Anyway, yeah, we're in. Fucking hell, burnt me for Ah, uh, let's cook. Yeah, there's, there's no way that's gonna cook, is it? That's just gonna be there for days, mate. They're going in the fire. Because otherwise it ain't gonna cook. And that's the reality of it. Go, Bobby. Right, the ribs. And I've high hopes for this. Oh, hang on a minute. Where's the freaking sauce to put on top? Or has he got the sauce on it already? No! There should be a sachet of sauce to go with it. Oh, that sucks, I haven't got it. Oh, my days. Gnarly, dude. Oh, these are gonna be nice and dry, aren't they? Oh, freaking hey, I've got no sauce at all either. Oh, that sucks, dude. Not cool. I mean, there is a bit of jizzy sauce in here, but uh, not enough. You want that ooze to square over it later, don't you? Oh, man. Old man Grumpster. But yeah, I'll blame him. What's that one there? Darn it. That don't taste great. Boom time. Let's cook. Or I've wrapped a little uh, sweet corn up as well. I don't know. I really don't think there's enough heat. I'm going to have to add some more wooden stuff. But I figured I'd kind of half cook it before I burn it. That was my theory anyway. Oh my days. You ain't going to believe this. This is freaking mental. I've been trying to flip the bloody sweet corn and these bloody... Oh, just do it in my freaking hands, dude. And now, check this out. This is insane. The freaking tongues have, like, become part of the grill. I can't get them off. I don't know what's happened. It's just mental, mate. I don't know why. Oh, there's obviously a gap somewhere. I don't know if the gap's in the grill bit or whether the gap's in the bloody tongue bit. I can't get them off. Well, no, they're legit. They're part of it now. That's so mental, mate. I can't get them off. I don't know what I've done. That's just, oh, everything's taking forever to cook as well. And now I need these because I need to get them bloody things out. The bloody fire there, man. Oh, nightmare. It had to happen, didn't it? How's that happen? Oh, it's just mental. Oh, wait. I think I might have sussed it. There's a little gap somewhere. There it is. There it is. Holy shiznick. Oh, my days. Look, there's a gap. Who designs things like that, mate? I've got to find out. Make sure I don't buy them again. Oh, on the good news, though. I found the barbecue sauce. <laughs> I dropped it on the floor and then stood on it. I'm amazed I didn't squash the pack. But, yeah, we got sauce. <sighs> When these finally f decide to cook, in about a week. Oh, this is so slow. Should have put them in the oven. Just saying. Right, I don't even care what's going on with this stuff now, man. I need to eat something. I'm so hungry. I'm going to unwrap one of these and see what it's saying. It's not saying a lot. I could, oh, crap. I could do with saving the foil. Honestly, the foil roll's gone absolute shred dog, man. It's like... It's millimetres thick all the way around the roll. It's just gone mental. They're not even cooking, dude. Nothing's cooking. Ugh, this is not happening. Just going to say it. You know you're struggling for heat when even the coffee wrapper won't burn. Something's not right. We need more wood for the fire. Oh, that's a copyright, darn it. Good news. We've got more wood for the fire. Ah, uh, bad news. I'm probably going to burn that sweet corn now. Well, in fact, I'm definitely going to burn that sweet corn now. Not now. But I need to move some things around. Good job I brought some heat-resistant wool gloves with me. That'll help, won't it? They won't set on fire at all. Crying out loud. Might want to wait a bit. I might wait. Just a thought. Right. Good news. We're back at a stage where I can put the stuff over the fire again. And, oh, even better. Ha! <laughs> Shit, that's hot. That's po. Gordon Bennett, where's me rubber gloves? I mean, me, oh, mate, mate, hey, everything's going everywhere, hang on. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna hazard a guess. Oh, mate, that, that sweet corn's ready to rumble. Oh, I mean, maybe. Hang on a minute, I've lost something. Oh, jeez. Where's the other potato? Oh, crap. I'm definitely burning my hands at some point here. Ah! There it was! There it was! 
Golden Bennett, that were hot. Yeah, man. Where's me other spud? Oh, crap. Oh, no. I was just about to start looking around thinking it would roll down the hill somewhere, but... Oh, bollocks. It's in the fire. Ah, I'll probably do with getting that out. Oh, screw it. We'll leave it. Me. Sounds like them uh, ribs are cooking now, though. Good go. <laughs> oh, shit! Damn it! Oh, oh bloody hell. Uh, well, at least we say we've gone wild tonight. Gordon Bennett. I'm starving, mate. All right, anyway. Man, yeah, nothing on there that won't kill me. Oh, there is a bit of grit, though. <laughs> oh, God, it Oh, fucking A, dude. Yeah. All right. I'm going to munch this. See how we go with the rest of it. I'm not going to lie. It really just tastes a little bit like moss. You know, like that smell of moss? <laughs> Some bits are better. Some bits are not. I'm glad I've got two. Let's send that corn back to the earth. Where it came from. Arr. Come on, ribs. Let's go. I'm munched. Right, I'm gonna kind of hold my hands up. I'm kind of at a point where I don't know what I'm doing with these ribs, but I'm gonna save that sweet corn in the wrapper. Oh, yes. Oh, and then I think I'm gonna try and open this up and get some of this sauce on it. I don't know if I wanna put it actually on the grill or not. It's gonna be bloody hot. Really hot. I don't know. Ah, yes, it is. Oh, mama. Ow, 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 ow. Hot's good, though. You know, if it's hot, it should be cooked. Yeah, she's looking good. Looking really good. Looking cooked. Right. I'm not sure what to do with it now. Ha uh ha. -huh. Uh, even the bones are red hot. Mm. It is cooked, though. Oh, mate. I think I'm going to put it actually on the thing. Just give it a bit of time on there, you know. Why not? And you know what? I'm going to do the other side first. Oh, this is good. This is working. It's working. Don't fall apart. Ah, oh. oh, the alarm's going. Oh! Right, frig it. Frig it with the tongs. And you know what? I'm using them tongs, and I? And I just remembered. They're the tongs I've been using all week to collect the dog poo with. And I've probably not cleaned them. Ming in! Oh, yeah. And the second sweet corn. Oh, look at the steam coming off that. I wish I'd brought some butter with me. And oh, it smells well less like moss. Happy days. Right, whatever we do, we don't want to overcook this thing. And I've got to be honest, oh yeah, mate, that is looking badass. It's sizzling with like a flame grill on top. Mate, I'm so stoked to find this sauce. It would have been so dry otherwise. Look at that oozing. Well, this is amazing. I'm glad I went for the Asian feast as well. I do like a bit of Asian feast. You know, please don't drop it. Oh, mama. Yes. Oh, it's a bit slider. Oh, my days. Dinner is served. Arr. Oh wait, what? Oh, gotta need these wipes, I know that much. I'm not gonna lie, that is looking absolutely amazing. Looks really well cooked, a little bit flame grilled, and that, yeah, that sauce on top. <gasps> Bear with. <laughs> Yeah, sauce on top. Yeah, it's done all right. It's not quite caramelised, but uh, I guess if I left it a bit longer, it would have done. <sighs> Cooked to perfection. It's not pink in the middle. It's just right. Right. All right. I'm going to get munching, and I'll catch you in a bit. Oh, let's go. Let's go. One more days. I've had to stop halfway through eating. 
I, I really have. I've just got to tell you, I think this is possibly the greatest thing I've ever created or cooked. And the worst of it is, I'm not in the crib. Look at the, like the underside of that flame grilled. It's like so tasty. And that sauce, oh, it's fantastic. I need to start living in the wood, cooking like this every day. Oh. Right, I'm gonna finish this off. So good. Well, I'm gonna hold my hands up. I'm not entirely sure these potatoes are ever gonna cook, but to be fair, I'm not that bothered. I got a couple of munchies in the bag if they don't, and I can wait. I'm not that fussed. My belly's full now after those ribs, and I think I'm gonna chill out for the night. I'm really psyched about this. It's gonna be pretty cool sleeping in a hammock. I may, I'm just thinking, I may actually lay that out underneath just in case I fall just thinking you know but uh I should be warm enough and I don't think I'm gonna get any bother around here I haven't heard anything the whole night I've been here so fingers crossed it's a good one and I'll catch you in the morning morning oh my days what a freaking day mate waking up in this spot in a woodland area mate what a night absolutely mega check it out I've had next to no sleep. I got in bed about 12 o'clock. I think I got about two, three hours sleep. I woke up at four for a pee and then I couldn't get back to sleep and I've just been, it's so comfy. I was just enjoying it, just being there and rolling around in the hammock. Definitely want to do a hammock camp again. Fire's still lit, smouldering away. I'm going to get that relit and do some bacon and eggs on the fire. I've made coffee already this morning with a jet boil. Honestly, mate, I'm not lying. I'm living the freaking dream here. This has just been a mad little night. And not just this, just everything that's going on with the channel at the minute. It's just fantastic. To be able to come out and do something like this, it's just special. It really is. And i got to be honest, I've had a bit of a moment this morning just waking up here with a little spit of the sun glistening through the trees and such. It's just... I'm feeling blessed, but not just because what's going on, but also because when I started this channel a couple of years ago, my life was really down. It was shit. I was living in depression, financially ruined. And you know, I was feeling like what was worth going on for, you know what I'm saying. It weren't great, but I pushed forward. I made a plan and I had a dream and I've slowly pushed forward towards it and I'm still pushing forward towards it. I guess you're always pushing forwards towards something in life, ain't you? But I'm so glad I did. It would have been easy just to stay in that situation and stay depressed and stay pissed off and in a negative lifestyle. And it was real difficult to pull myself out of it. And it was only I guess there was a lot of luck involved as well. Not just with the channel, just in life generally, with things going a little bit more positively than they were before, do you know what I mean? But, I don't know. I just looking back a little bit and thinking that it was such a good thing that I did push forward and didn't give up. Because now, I'm doing things like this. <laughs> For a grind, mate. I mean, come on, dude. What the friggle, man? I don't know, some people get some out of YouTube, some people that are YouTubers get a little bit, but I've got to tell you, mate, I'm living my dream. I'm living the life. I'm happy as Larry, and I'll be even more happy as Larry once we've got this fire relit. I want to get some bacon and eggs onto it. Right, let's do this. Check this thing out I found last night. It's like a metal pole, but... Oh, let me just poke this fire. Check it out, it's like... It's for hanging a light on from the train tracks. All this area around here, this embankment behind me, it's like some train line or some old school train line. I think it got closed in like the early 1900s and all the lines have been ripped up with all the bearers and stuff. But there's still like runoffs and things for like water. That's why there's so many stones around here. These are all like stream runoffs and things, I think. There's a couple of tunnels up the way. I'm intrigued to know what it is. I might have to find out. I think I'm going to do another camp here at some point, but yeah, stoop of history around here, man. Right, let's make history and make some bacon sandwich.
Let's go. We're not after beauty this morning. We have to practicality. Uh, uh. Oh yeah, proficiency, don't you know? Hey. Definitely gonna have that mud taste. And they're definitely gonna stick to that pan. Oh mama, got no oil. Again, Golden Bennett. Oh my God, oh my days. Oh, 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 that's not good. Christ, there must be something I can use. Oh, mate, this spit would be better than what I've used, nothing. Bloody hell. Oh, mate, that ain't gonna be a bacon sandwich. I might, might be able to save a few pieces. I'm not gonna hold my hopes up. Better off just putting it on the bloody grill, I think. Whatever. May as well put another bit in, because I ain't saving none of this, I'm telling you. And there's no way I'm putting an egg in that. Gordon Bennett. Oh my days, wish me luck scraping this bad boy off the plate, damn it. Oh! It's not working. Grab it! Oh, damn it! They're not supposed to grab it. Oh, it's too hot. Oh, I'm burning. Damn it, everything's burning. Oh my days. Come on! Yes, got it. Oh my days. Oof, oof. See if we can save some of it. Oh. Come on, Spock, you can do it. Oh my God, maybe. Ah, it looks like the bit that was on the top. Yeah, the bit underneath has saved the bit on the top. Oh my days, this is not good. Oh my God. Yeah, a bit smoking. So much smoke in my face, oh my days. Oh, mama. Yeah, that's, that's not looking great. It's looking not as bad as I thought it would though. Anyway, back on the fire. Oh, isn't it? Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Oh, mama. Oh, frick it, whatever. Right, let's see if we can save a few pieces of this. It don't look too bad, actually. I know the pan looks absolutely horrific. The bacon don't look too bad. Okay, it's getting worse the longer I leave it. I'm not gonna lie. Gee, oh my days. Oh my days. Oh, mama. Oh, that's black. That's like really black, mate. Oh, shit, isn't it? I wonder if I can get another piece on there now that, like, the pan's died. I've got a couple of bits that look edible. Maybe I can use that bit. Not too much black on that. I mean, I'm not saying it's the best baking sandwich that's ever been made. Oh, yeah. Not even close. Ugh. But yeah, it's something. Just. Oh, and I think, oh mate, I'm gonna munch that up. And then I'm not looking forward to it, but I'm gonna have to start thinking about packing everything down. This is gonna take forever. And then I've got about 15 miles to park back. This is a hardcore one. Right, I'll catch you in a bit. Oh mate, chilling in the spot. Hang on a minute. in a bit. Living a dream, you know. <laughs> Legend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Should say as well before we go, the ferrod rod. Oh, ferrod. I don't know. Yeah, I worked it out. I finally got a signal on the phone. I was doing it the wrong way, wasn't I? I'll tell you what, though. Oh, man. There you go. Look. Got a spot. How cool is that? It'd still be really difficult to light anything with though. I still prefer the modern lighter. I'm just saying, but we'll have a go one time. Oh my days. This is a right bloody knot. Whoa, boom time. And the area is cleansed <laughs> and clear. Oh, fear not as well. I've put a lot more water in there. That's why that's all soggy and whatnot now. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to use it again. But it is put out. Uh, the bag, oh, I'm just going to ditch it like behind all these trees down there. A little bit out of the way. Maybe throw a few bits over the top of it and then I'm coming back later for it. As for now, hey, it's all the way back home, isn't it? Check this out as well. 36.9, we've done exactly 
20 miles since we started so that means i've got another 20 to get back oh, i really don't think the battery's gonna last it's on about two three bars so we're halfway we'll have to see as for now let's get over there let's get out of here we we'll leave no trace it's been a wicked night and let's see if i can get home without having to pedal <laughs> Oh my days, my hands are absolutely freezing and I've been wearing gloves as well. Good news though, I'm nearly back home. Bad news, uh, this freaking gate that was unlocked the other day is now locked. So I've got to sort of try and clamber the bike, 30 kilos, over that sty. And uh, even worse news, <laughs> oh mate, this was coming, wasn't it? Dun, 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 the battery's died, gutted mate. It managed about 37 miles. I think it was like 53.9 or something when it just bailed on me. So I'm going to have to do a bit of pedaling as well to get back home now. But I think this is going to be the best point to end the episode. It's been a mad one. So stoked to got a hammock out in the woods last night. It's absolutely fantastic. I'd say as well, I'll leave a link in the description where you can go check these bikes out. The Hemiway Cruiser. <sighs> Pretty cool. Really, really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, all the good stuff hit the like button subscribe to keep up with the series and definitely hit me in the comments and as always you know you know take it easy enjoy the camp and stay stealthy get out there all right <laughs>